Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make my Santa treat box. So it's a cute little box here and that becomes the inside of the box. That's the little lid. Um, he's so cute. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, I've used the um, Kindest Gnomes. Uh, I haven't actually used the stamp set, but I've used the dies from the catalogue, and I'll show you which ones I've used here. Um, so I've used the beard, I've used a little gnome hat, and I've used a couple of these for his nose and the little uh, kind of bubble on his hat. And I've also used the smallest square from the um, Stylish Shapes dies. So uh, let me show you the supplies you'll need to make this. So you need a piece of red, real red cardstock, and this measures three and a quarter by eight and a half. Um, if you're in the UK and you want to get two of these out of a piece of cardstock, cut it down to eight and a quarter. You'll just have a thinner piece on the in a little um, joining piece on the inside, but it is possible. Okay, you need a piece of basic white cardstock, and this measures four and one sixteenth by four and one sixteenth. Painful, I know, with the sixteenths, but it just means that it fits nicely. Um, on the lid you need a couple of pieces of basic black cardstock uh, this is for his little belt this measures nine inches by three quarters you need another little square which is three quarters by three quarters as I said you need the um, gold glimmer square which I can't see where mine is at the moment but I'm hoping it's going to turn up in a second um, with the with the smallest square die I've gone ahead and cut from Real Red two of the hats. I've cut his beard. I've cut his nose here in petal pink. I had an old um, a stamping up punch that had these size eyes. I think it was a one eighth of an inch circle punch. Um, see what you've got in your stash or probably a hole punch would do even uh, in black. And I've actually also used the retired, um, chalk marker for his eyes. But again, you can get a gel pen or something in white. I think that, oh, here's my little square of gold. I think that might be everything actually. Oh no, one more, uh, a piece of real red, um, cardstock in one and seven eighths and one and seven eighths. And that's just to go up here on the lid. And I've used some of this really fab, um, trim, which is called, uh iridescent trim Ooh. <laughs> i don't know why i did that oh sparkling um for the little trim on his hat um and then some matte dots classic matte dots for his buttons so enough talking tracy let's go ahead and show you how to score these pieces i'm going to bring in my simply score i've got my camera quite low so i haven't actually left myself much room here but let's give it a go there we go budge up santa um, okay, so let's score on the long side, on the eight and a half side, like I said, you can make it eight and a quarter, at two, four, six and eight. These are all inches. Turn it round, so you've got the short side at the top and score at two inches. Really simple there. And then on this little lid, you're going to score on all sides at one inch. There we go that's all the scoring done put that to one side so i'm actually just back from uh on stage in austria um in, we went to vienna and i actually um, was asked to present on stage there um one of the new suites in the upcoming mini catalog um so yeah that was really exciting 700 plus european demonstrators so you know not a small crowd but um <laughs> but i think i did okay so it's a really lovely suite um, and I'll be able to share some pictures of that with you soon. You might have seen some on my Instagram actually. Okay, so fold on all the score lines. And like I said, if you make this eight and a quarter, so you can get two out of a, car, a piece of cardstock, this will just be slightly thinner, this edge. So fold on all of these. I forgot to burnish that one. Give them a little burnish. box kind of developed as I went at first I didn't put the eyes on I didn't put the hat on um and it looked okay but I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't quite happy with it so I was 
I was happy in the end actually I'm going to bring that back in we'll work on that one first so I'm going to work on this side because I prefer seeing it this way so you're going to get rid of this little piece in the corner here so this is the bottom of the box that's obviously the the main part so cut up the score line cut across so I'm just getting rid of that and then on each of these we're going to cut up each score line or you can just come in and cut diagonally either side of the score line but let's just go straight up first so that I don't confuse you yes yeah, so again I'm a little late putting out my videos this month but um I had lots to do for Vienna um obviously with presenting as well so um I had on online rehearsals and things so yeah took up a bit of time Okay, on this little skinny edge here at the top, we're just going to take the tiniest little piece out. So I'm going in slightly and then up to that score line just to take a little piece off the top. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom here. So it's kind of like a long flower pot. And that just helps it all close up nicely. And then on each of these tabs, we're going to cut our flower pot. So I'm just going to move that one out of the way. So what I mean by that, if you haven't joined me before, is I'm going to come in at the bottom here and cut up into the corner on both sides and you can see you're left with a flower pot shape there so that's why I call it a flower pot I think other people call it notching in but you know that's my take on it <laughs> so you're going to do that on each of these pop them out if they don't quite come just going to get that one out of the way these are quite big sections to cut, so just take your time. And they don't have to be exact. Um, they don't have to be exactly the same on each side. It's just really so that it makes a neat close on the bottom of the box. So the last one in the bottom up into the corner and then the same on this edge piece as well. So all four of those are now little flower pots, well quite big ones actually. <laughs> So if you're using tape, um, I would suggest, um, I always use tape, but you can of course use glue. If you're using glue, you're going to put it on this side. So essentially that's all going to fold around in the middle. So it's this kind of folded over piece here. We're going to put some tape on. Okay, so, oh, mine's about to run out there. That wasn't the best piece. <laughs> okay, let me just get another tape. Okay. This one won't run out, it's a new one. So I'm going to finish off that bit there. Okay, so uh, if you're using tape at this stage, you can also, so I folded that one over to do that. You can also put one on this second one in from the edge, but on the other side. So that one's on that side, this is on this side. If you're using glue, don't do this at this stage. Um, and also when we build up the box now, don't take this tape off yet. We're going to do it in a second. So um, what I normally do is fold this one and the little one over like that. And then this one will fold to meet it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take this backing off. Like that. And then seal that there. And then I'll just open these up at the bottom so you can see where I'm going with this. So I normally do the two side ones in first, then this one without tape, and then finally this one with the tape. And you can see it will wiggle a bit because we've cut those, um, those little flower pots, but just line it up as straight as you can there. So we're going to take the backing off. And of course, if you're using glue at this stage, you just glue whichever one you'd like. But by doing this, we've put the, the last piece at the back where the join is. Okay, so that's... The base of your box let's go back to the lid so you, again you're going to fold on all four sides on all the score lines and this time um often with boxes we'll cut you know the same way here and here but because it's such a small lid um and if we did that we'd have all of all of the tabs on this side and this side and none on this side so it just the way i'm going to show you just evens them out okay so have it like this choose a corner doesn't really matter which i normally use the bottom right here you're going to cut up to the score line and then on that little square you're going to notch in so come at the bottom come in at the bottom and then go up into the top corner like that so there we've got our little flower pot 
then you're going to rotate it once and do the same on this. So I'm always working here on the bottom right hand corner. And this just evens out the tabs when we fold them in. OK, rotate again. So you just keep working around. It's not the end of the world if you do it the other way. Um, as long as you've got some tabs, <laughs> a tab on each corner doing something, that's that's fine. But then I'm going to rotate to the last one here and cut up there. So as usual, pause me, rewind me. <laughs> I don't mind. What, what, whatever you'd like to do just to make sure you um you can follow what I'm doing there okay so that's what you end up with and again I'm going to use some tape but you can use glue so I would put a couple of pieces on each of these you could of course just go across diagonally um if you you know haven't got the patience with the tape really but I just like to put a couple of strips on each Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll show you before we take this off, but um, we're going to line up this folded edge with this straight edge and the tape is going to be on the inside and that forms the box then. You'll be familiar if you follow my videos that we do make quite a lot of boxes, so you'll know this already. If, by the way, uh, you're not following me already, I'd love for you to do that. You can hit the follow button just below um or oh, the subscribe button sorry we're not on facebook <laughs> we're on youtube the subscribe button and also hit the little bell if you want notification of when i add new um videos and certainly in the new year i'm going to be stepping up the number of videos that i um pop on there so yeah so you don't want to miss any of those okay so fold those in all the way around and that will then sit on top of your box cool so um, with the lid here, like I showed you, this little beard is only attached to the lid, okay? So um, we don't want anything stuck on this piece here. Oh, put it back on. Come on, Santa, play ball. <laughs> there we go. Right, so um, I'm going to pop a couple of... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to stick his little pink nose on. So I've cut that in petal pink. Just going to put a little glue here and then pop that on there so cute um and i'm going to leave a little bit of room for the eyes but i'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals under his under the top kind of piece of his beard up here just so that i know it's only going to stick to the lid so let's pop that on here. I'm just going to angle it towards me a little bit so I can see where I'm going. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space for the eyes. Okay. And with the eyes, um, just going to, you can have them kind of more spread out. That looks quite cute as well, actually. Or you can have them in like this. Should we have them out? No, I'm going to have them in still. <laughs> oh, I'm so indecisive. Okay, so a little bit of glue. Or you could use a glue dot. On the back of those. I'm just going to use my tool here to pick them up. So I'm going to pop one about there and one there. Ooh, eyes are slipping. So these would be great to make if you're doing a Christmas fair or something. Um, really cute little gift box. Or you could use it to, you know, give your family gifts at Christmas. So um i'll show you how i did the little um the, the accent on the eyes so i've just got my um chalk pen like i say it's it's retired now sadly but i'm just doing a little kind of almost arc tiny little arc on the top of each eye like that and it just gives that little um little glossy look in his eyes okay for the um belt there's no scoring on this. Um, I found it easier just to bend this round. So you have it roughly in the middle of the box here. Actually, I'm just going to move mine around because I can see I've got my join at the side. So um, pop it roughly in the middle here. And then you're just going to... What I'm going to do is leave it a bit under his beard as well because I want to be able to see this little um, 
bit here but again it's not essential but I want to leave enough room for some buttons so um, you're just going to pinch on one side there and then pinch on the other side so keeping it quite taut and then again go around and pinch this side and then pinch that side okay and it doesn't matter where they kind of join at the back and I'm taking that off and I'm just going to as I fold it you can see I've gone really wonky with that one so I'm just going to bring it back in line and just reinforce it with the bone folder just to get some kind of more crisp um, score lines there I find it easier than um, figuring out where to score you could do that if you if you'd prefer okay um, so I wanted it to stick all the way round. So I just, I've just done a little squiggle of glue all the way down. I don't want it too near the edge because I don't want to risk it kind of splurging out. So find your centre one again. Of course, you could use tape at this point, whichever you'd prefer. So I'm going to stick that bit down there and then just follow round on the box. I'm going to put the little one in last so then you can see at the back it it lines up and you can always go in and just press against your hand or even better just go in with a bone folder here and just press all the way around just to make sure that stays in place so super cute okay so back to his buckle now so that sits really nicely on there so I'm just going to center that and stick it with some liquid glue so just get it as central as you can put it down a bit there that looks that looks about right I keep moving it <laughs> I should leave it alone now there we go. And then with the little square, I've popped a dimensional on the back and lined it up so that it is in line. I keep fiddling with that. In line with this, so it looks like it's going through the buckle. So a little dimensional. Oops, knocked my light. On the back. And then line it up so it looks like it's going through the buckle. You can put your head over yours and have your head in and try not to get in shot. Um, so nearly there. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of these little tiny um, dots on here. So these were the classic matte dots. And just pop a couple here for his little buttons. You could use the bigger ones if you'd rather. Um, and then like I said, I'm going to finish this off. A little wink of Stella on his beard. Just to give him a little sparkle there. So that's finishing off the front letting that dry so then the top uh, we're going to use this little piece of real red here to stick on top so i've stuck that with dimensionals and i just pop them on like a five would be on a dice so one in each corner one in the middle how's your christmas shopping going have you started I did manage to get a couple of bits actually in um, at the Christmas market. They they um, set it up in Vienna um, just on the day before, uh, sorry, two days before we were flying back. So managed to get a couple of cute bits there. Okay, so what I've done with the hat, and actually I didn't show you this piece, um, so not very helpful. <laughs> uh, this is a piece of real red and it measures one by one and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. And I've scored that at half an inch increments there. So this little piece here is slightly smaller. So you've got little half inch pieces and one that's slightly less. So you're just going to fold all of these. And I'm going to make a little kind of stand out of that. So you can see I've just literally the one that's smaller. I'm just going to put some tape or glue on bring that one round and it's making that little triangular stand so that is keeping the hat up there so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to put it on the on this slightly smaller one here apologies for not mentioning it this at the beginning so just to say again this piece is one inch wide by one and seven eighths long and you're scoring at half an inch one inch one and a half 
and then just line up uh, this edge with the folded edge here. Oops. You can do it with glue if you'd rather. And now there's a couple of ways to do this and my ladies in class did it slightly differently to how I designed it. So I've stuck these two together and use this as a little prop. They actually preferred, which I'm tempted to do as well, um, to do it either side of the, the stand here. Um, so they had one hat on one side, one hat on the other. So it kind of looked the same front and back. I think I'll stick to my original one because that's how I've designed it. But that is also a good way to, um, to do it. So I'm going to pop a dimensional in the middle just to puff the hat out a little bit. And then I'm going to pop a glue dot on the three points of the hat because I'm trying to make it less gnome, more Santa looking. So I just wanted um, one to have a stand for it, but also it then looks like we can, you know, we've just attached that across. So mine's getting a bit wobbly because it's been used a lot in class. Okay, so backing off this dimensional as well. And what I did was I've just lined up kind of the first, um, just make sure you've got this stitching run on the outside. I've lined up the first um, one here against the glue dot and then just kind of rolled it down. And like you see, it's slightly padded in the middle, not especially, but I just wanted that little bit of um, um, dimension, I guess. So then we're going to put, just have a look where this would meet if you were to slide it up against that. And see there, I'm going to put some glue dots there and there. You could use some tape across, um, what, whatever you like really. So not quite at the bottom, um, because that's too far down for it to pick up that um, that little piece across. So let's see how this works. So you can see that I've attached them slightly up from the bottom. And then I'm just going to slide it against this um, kind of stand. And that's worked quite well there okay so you can see i've just about caught those glue dots there but of course you could put um some tape along but you need it so that the stand sits at the bottom of the um of here so you don't want these poking down further otherwise it won't stand up so to hide this and to make it look um more santery if that's a word probably not really i've just added some tear and tape just a strip you could do more actually if you wanted, but um, across the bottom here, probably didn't do that quite wide enough. The reason I'm doing it, I'm not cutting it down on the project is it's quite hard to um, to peel it back when, when it's on there. So I'm just gonna trim this edge here, get rid of that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this backing off. Oops bit fiddly because I couldn't quite push it down as hard as I normally would there we go and then this little edge piece as well and then I'm going to take the trim the iridescent trim and just lay it across the bottom here and snip actually I'm going to use my old ribbon scissors um, you can use the snips that's fine but um these are just a bit sharper just to trim that and then you pop another layer just up from there and you can you can add layers if you want but I just that covers the bottom of the little kind of gnome shaped hat but also adds his trim and then finally we're just going to add his little um bobble on top of his um hat so just did that with a, a glue dot so a little sparkly bobble so that's cut in the white glimmer paper that's in a pack with red um, in the mini catalog so there we go and then i you could do it straight like that but i offset his but i might do this one straight this time so you can either have it at a bit of an angle or straight ahead so i'm going to do mine straight this time so again you could use glue or tape um i'm quite a fan of tape because it does tend to well look i've done that now and i can't tear it because it is super strong, um, as is the glue, but for pushing down, it's a bit easier with this. So let's peel that back. And then we're going to stick that on there. 
How super cute is that? So I really hope you've enjoyed making my Santa treat box. Take care. See you soon. Bye.